Hey guys, long time no see. I am actually sitting on the ground this time. Um, it does look a uh, slightly darker than if I were up uh, sitting, but um, I wanted to, I wanted to give this a go. Um, see if maybe there's less uh, glare. And just maybe if, again, if, if things uh, look better, I don't know. Anyways, um, if you are returning, thank you so much. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. And um, this is basically a, video, um, a channel about cross-stitch. Uh, I do crochet and uh, I love jigsaw puzzles. But uh, yeah, I, I don't usually show that on here. Um, and that's if you get a glimpse of my craft room every now and again, because I have puzzles all over the place. But, uh, yeah, so, um, I, I don't think I have any new subscribers, but, you know, if there is, then, you know, welcome. And to those returning, um, I greatly appreciate it. Um, uh, as I was setting up here, I was getting a little, um, not exactly disappointed, but, um, because I, I have a lot to show, so I'm not disappointed in what I'm going to show you, but, um, uh, I guess you could say a, a little frustrated. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, um, I have a little bit of haul, but I started that haul. <laughs> so as I go through these new starts, um, I will let you know what I just bought and just started. And, uh, one thing that, um, I bought because I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, the quick a quick haul real quick like other than you know letting you know what new starts are haul and what I have already shown you but I did start them kind of a thing uh okay so I ordered my first stamp kit from a place called tapestrymarket.com um they only had 11 count or 14 count, but they had a lot of gorgeous designs, so I wanted to check them out. And uh, right, so I ordered something on like December 6th or something, and then it got shipped on like December 13th. And so I thought, oh, it, it should, you know, it should definitely be here before 2020 ends because, um, oh, I forgot to mention that. Oh, and Happy New Year, by the way. Happy New Year. Um, so it is 2021, and I am doing no new starts this year. So I have a problem. It's, it, it's a minor problem. It's not that big a deal, you know. I can I can handle it. I can wait till 2022 before I start this stamped kit that I just bought because it didn't get here until the 4th, January 4th of this year. So, I really wanted to start this before the new year, but obviously that isn't happening because I'm doing no new starts. I could make an exception for it and start it on like my birthday or something, but I really want to do a true no new starts for this year. So, we'll see if I cave, but I, at the very least, I'll be waiting until June if I do start it. But like I said, I really want to do a true no new start. So I'm going to hold, I'm going to try cross fingers to not start anything this year. But this is what I bought. It's, it, it's literally just called Elephant, I think it was called. There's, it doesn't show it on the picture I'm going to show you. But this is what I bought. And it is, oh my gosh, okay, yeah. Thank you for uh, focusing, camera. It's, uh, yeah, actually, it's a little bit better if I hold it back. Well, as I go up closer, it gets darker. So I will, I will stop moving. Maybe as I, ooh, hey, that's a little bit better. As I tilt it, it kind of shows the true color a little bit more. Kind of, ooh, there we go, that's better. I'm holding it towards the light, which is that way, which is, that way this way so I'm kind of trying to do that without getting a glare and it's showing up the true colors a little bit more but um it has a little design on its face but 
But anyways, that's what he, she will look like. Um, and yeah, I'm just very sad that I'm not going to be able to start it till next year, 2022. And this year just started, so I have a long ways to wait. So I'm going to just pop that over there. Okay, so I'm... Oh. Oh my goodness. Here I thought I was a little bit more organized and I am. I'm definitely am. But um Snicker Bobs. Okay, um, I need to go get my phone. <gasps> Cause I wanna show you I I have a couple before and afters, but not very many, but I mean a lot of what I'm gonna show you, I need to show you the picture and they're on my phone. So, um, just talk amongst yourselves and I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, it was right next to me, you guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, now that that's, I got that. Um, okay. So I'm going to go through my whips first. And so the, um... So yeah, like I said, I'm I'm a little bit more organized this time around. Uh, well, I mean, I, it's not that I wasn't organized my last video. It's just um, I thought I was gonna be showing everything in order of how and in order of when I stitched it. Like, yeah, but um, then then I realized when I was looking at my cards, I was doing it in order of when I started it. And that's how I actually prefer to do, how I prefer to show you guys my um, whips is in order of where I started. So what I have uh, done, what I did, I'm trying to go um, paperless, if you will. Like I was doing, I was making individual index cards for my whips and everything, but what I did is or, or at least as paperless as possible. What I did is I made, um, I just went on to a word and did a document and I printed everything. And again, to save paper, I did it double-sided. So everything's on here. So I will have to flip through these, but at least I won't have to flip through those cards this time around. So yeah. And so there may be some rustling and you probably already heard some rustling rustling okay um uh, also celia she's right above me she's right or in front of me above me because you know i'm sitting down she's a little bit higher but uh, <laughs> anyways um i'm gonna do a separate video for her and it's it's gonna be a quickie one and i'm just gonna do it on my my phone or whatever because i don't want to i I could have easily just taken the entire frame off my stand, but I didn't really feel like doing that. And so I'll just, I'm, I'm just going to do a separate video for her. And it'll just, be, it'll just be a quickie one. So what I'm going to show you first, you haven't seen in a while because I haven't, I haven't worked on it in a while, but um, I don't hold that thought. Sorry, someone's texting me. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause again. <laughs> so sorry, I forgot it's our dog's lunchtime, and I need to go feed her real quick, and then I'll be right back. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, hopefully that will be the last interruption. Um, that text that I got was from my husband reminding me to feed our dog because he's actually away right now, which is why I'm doing this video, and I'm gonna try and. I don't want to rush through it. I don't want to rush through it. If he comes home while I'm doing this, you know, he comes home. Um, I just, I just, I don't know. Sometimes I feel a little silly talking to the camera when there's nobody there, even though I know you guys are watching me. But okay, so yeah, Fire Dragon by Sparklies. Um, let's see. Uh, um, I. Sorry. I'm going to be poking my head every now and again just to make sure this is in frame and it's actually like viewable. Like you can actually see it. What's up with you, camera? You're not like focusing. 
Okay. Anyways, um, I named him Igneal. Now, Igneal is doesn't isn't shown in this particular uh show that me and my husband watch it's a it's an anime show called a uh, fairy tale and he's a dragon obviously and uh he he's not shown but he trained one of the main characters in that show and that's he just looks like igneal a lot like he's very fierce i guess is what where i'm going with that but that's what he will look like and I have him on, oh, I didn't, oops, I had everything all set up to show, and then this is the only one that I didn't have set up to, uh, like, the fabric, meaning the fabric, I didn't have it set up, sorry, guys, but yeah, this is on 32 count, possibly, it's possibly on 32 count, and I believe it actually goes this way. Do you go that way? Hmm. Snicker bombs. Actually, I think it goes this way. <laughs> That's the back. Oh my gosh. You're probably like saying, really, Chelsea, right now? Yeah. Um, I honestly have no, I don't recall which way this goes, honestly, you guys, I'm sorry. Um, I don't have a before picture for this one because I just didn't take one. I'm pretty sure it goes like this. Pretty sure it goes like this and I have this folded very wonkily. But, um. That's what that looks like, and the camera is still fussy. It doesn't even, it doesn't even matter. Um, that where I'm sitting. Yeah. So now that I am looking at it, it definitely goes this way. So that's where I'm at. Um. I I don't even know where I was at before. To, so I can't like even show I can't even point to be like hey this is what I've done but this is what he looks like right now and the camera is fuzzier than fuzzy was he was a bear but at least it's black and maybe if I can go closer you can kind of see the detail of the uh, um, modeling but yeah not really huh not really hmm. I forgot I have that little bit right there but when I folded it so yeah um next time I think I will use my phone instead because Every time I, I keep I keep saying that, like, oh, I'm going to use my phone instead. I'm not going to use my laptop. But I just, I like using the laptop because I don't, I don't know. I like, I like presenting it this way, I suppose, is what I'm saying. Um, how was I going to do this? I forgot where I was going to, like, put everything after I was done with it. I'll just put it right there. Okay. So, that was Fire Dragon. That took a while. Uh, and I started that on August 2nd of 2015. And again, that was 32 count linen um, in the color Phoenix by Picture This Plus. The next one I'm gonna show you. I got a fire sheet, it's okay. Is Little Match Girl. And this is a Heaven and Earth design. And by, um, well, it already, you can probably already see it right there by Jasmine. Uh, Beckett Griff Griff if Griff, if, 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 if. um, and I have her on 18 count Ada in oatmeal 
by something called loops and threads and I started this on August 16th 2018 and I do have a before picture for this one so that's where I was at before and this is where I'm at now so um so yeah I went so apparently apparently I just went a little bit this way and again it's just so fuzzy that you can't even well I believe most of this is black anyways there is like a little bit of blue in there but yeah like very hard to see that so sorry about that Actually, I'm going to separate these into the pictures and then the fabrics because this fabrics I put in different areas. Okie dokie, on to the next one. Uh, Violet the skunk. This is a, that's what she will look like. She's the skunk. And uh, it's a Stony Creek Collection Woodland Fairies booklet. One day next year, I plan on starting this, which is called Stare Damp. Um, oh, there she is. I'm like, where'd she go? And so I did, uh, I don't have a before picture for this one, sorry. But that's okay because the last time I saw her, she only had white, so it was kind of hard to see the difference anyways. But I did add a little bit of black, and there's also um, 762, I believe, I added I added as well. Kind of hard to see that, but again, hard to see. Just wish the sun would poke out. But yeah, again, tails up here. More black comes around this way as well, I believe. I believe anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's where she's at. And hopefully you can see that. You can you can see it actually a lot better now that the black's in there. It's a little hard to see the 762, but it's like right in here. So there is a titch difference, but between that and the white but not much so yeah that's that is that one. Oh, sneaker bobs um that is this is a 14 count ada on uh, um, in light blue by charles craft and i started that on march 10th of this uh of last year can i get that confused aren't we yeah um i don't know if i mentioned little match girl yeah, I didn't mention, um, Little, Little Match Girl is on 18 Count Ada, and, oh, no, I did say that, and I started Little Match Girl on August 16th, 2018, and this is Violet on the 14 Count Ada Light Blue by Charles Craft, started on March 10th of last year. Okay, focus, Chelsea, focus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Go. Got the next one. Goat Load by Plum Street Sampler. That's what that'll look like. Oops. I'm almost kind of thinking maybe sitting down on the ground maybe wasn't the best idea. But it's a little late now. Probably could have taken this out of the thing, but next video, I promise it'll it'll be ten times better because I'm gonna use my phone and I'm not gonna have any crinklies in there. So uh, this is on 14 count Ada in light oatmeal, and I started this on uh, September 13th, 2020. Um, the la I don't have a before picture. Actually, I might have a before picture, but um, anyways, the last time you saw this, you would only have seen the black, and which I have not filled in the border yet. 
and I started the the very top goat and um, for the flowers it was obviously impossible to see on there but the flowers are actually like a pinky and but um, this is going to be a gift for someone she raises goats herself and sells them for 4-H and stuff hopefully she's not watching this but um she kind of likes um like the variegation kind of look when it comes to like flowers and stuff or i i think that's i think that's what my brother-in-law said anyways um it's really hard to see but this is kind of like a fiery look to it i think possibly oh wait there we go yeah you can kind of see that little bit of variegation but Hopefully that gives you a better look of the goat, too. He's not done, obviously, but yeah. So that's what that's. That's where that one is. Okay, the next one is... I'm going to have to find that one on my phone so I can show you what it looks like. And actually, I have to go to my files for that one. Sorry. Well, actually, now that I think about it, there's not really much to show because, oh wait, well, there you go. This um, is the owl, the owl forest embroidery owl style, the hundred owls, and it's finished. I, I think the last time I showed this to you, um, I was way behind. I'm still way behind. Hundred, hundred owls. And this is the end product. I love it. I need to work on this. That's what that looks like. Will look like when I finally have it finished. Um, this is on 28 count Cashel Linen in Natural by Swag Art. And I started this on September 26th of 2020. Let me see if I have a before picture for that one. I don't know if I do. No, 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 don't go away from me. For some reason I thought I did, but apparently not. <sighs> okay, now I don't, but I can tell you what I have. Last time you saw it, I only had this owl and this um, greenery done. So I did, so I've done all of that right there. So that's what that'll look like. I'm going to pause real quick. All right, sorry about that. I just wanted to make sure I let my husband know because he just got home that um, our dog was fed. So, uh, my snicker bobs. Mm, Should have looked for the next one. Oh. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, never mind. Let's uh, I'm looking. Oh, you're all the way at the bottom. Okay, that's why. Okay, so the next. Okay, so actually, those were all the whips. Now I'm on new starts. Okay, so I started Roses of Province by Mira, um, Mirabilia, the artist Nora Corbett. Corbett, I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. That's what she will look like. Hopefully, the camera is focusing. I know, I can tell that it's in frame, but hopefully it's actually focusing. And I have this on the Called For Fabric, which is a 32 count linen in white chocolate. And I started this on November 14th of last year, 2020. And I have that much done, that much done. And 
next one next new start is ladybird fairy and this uh that's a joan elliott and joan elliott by joan elliott um i have this on 28 count linen in coastal by picture this plus and i started this on november 16th of last year all, all of these are going to be new starts from last year um and i have a very measly little start but started nonetheless right If you want a, like a better picture or better picture, a better look of what like the fabric kind of looks like, it's it's like a, it when you fold it up, it looks more darker than when you like unfold it. So blue and white kind of a variegation going on there. Okay, so. Uh, next, I started Hairs Christmas, um, another Plum Street sampler. That's what they will look like. Hopefully that showed up properly. And um, this is on 18 count Ada. In ivory by Zwagart, and I started this on November 17th again last year. <laughs> and this is where I've gotten to. I did really want to get the last bunny, but um, or hair, hair, but that's okay. And um, okay, so I was having a problem with this one, you guys. Um, I thought they looked like rats with like the pat the way the pattern wanted had me do it. They looked like rats to me. So what I decided to do is give them Rudolph noses. So it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, that's what I did. And then I actually made um him um you can hardly see those gold buttons on there. Oh, there we go. Okay, I made him actually a little bit fuller, too. The reason why they look kind of weird is because they're in the sleigh, which I just haven't done yet. Oh, that's okay. But, yeah, that's what they look like. And, um... Oh, I also forgot to mention that. Um, I am going to do that whip go thing, um, or at least I'm going to try. I didn't join the group, but um, I do. I did want to try like that bingo looking whip go thing. So like I have my like I I did my bingo thing and um um. Um, yeah, and I'm just, I'm just gonna accomplish my goals, you know, the way I feel like it. So if I feel like working on this at a certain time, instead of going with the call numbers, um, and I, I know Jesse mentioned that, like, if you're not feeling that particular project at that time, you know, just work on something else, you know, what have you, but I don't, I don't know, I just, I, I kind of like doing my own thing, if you will. So I do want to try that. I think it'll like help me accomplish things. Usually, I mean, I have goals for myself regardless, but I think this will like ha getting a bingo every now and again will um, inspire me because since I can't start anything new, what I'm going to do is when, when I get a bingo or if I finish something really big like Celia, um, then I will allow myself to get like threads for something or beads for something you know, or fabric or or even a new um, even a new chart or pattern or whatever 
but um, I can't start anything. So I am going to try that wing whip go uh, thing and um, yeah. But I am going to try and finish Harry's Christmas this year. Um, so yep, uh, let's move right along. And the next one I'm gonna show you is called Past and Present. And this is a Rosewood Manor um, chart. That's what that'll look like. Um, I am doing this on 36 count Edinburgh linen in light mocha. And I started it on November 28th, November 28th of uh, last year. Um, also, um, I don't usually, I only usually name things that have animals in them. I, I don't know if I'm going to name each individual little hair because, I, you know, hair's Christmas, you know, just general kind of a thing. I, so I don't think I'm going to name those, but usually I name a lot of my projects that have animals on them, hence Igneal for the dragon. So this one, I actually decided I wanted to give this one a name and um I really like Pride and Prejudice and that's kind of like a older thing kind of like I guess past and present I don't know maybe not older but you know very um antiquish I, I don't know but uh this is where I got to so I got A B and A B C D A B C D um I forgot what color this is, but this is actually not the color it called for. The color it called for was actually variegated, but um, I didn't want to buy only one variegated thread, so I just chose my own. Um, well, also because... Um, so I'm working on the bigger alphabet. There's also a smaller alphabet that's really hard to see, but like the smaller alphabet and I believe the little numbers, those are in a color that was, um, the, oh, what, oh my gosh, okay, actually, I tried looking for the substitute for that variegated boss and it was the same thing as the smaller letters and numbers, so I decided that I don't, I didn't want those to be the same, so, um, I, yeah, so I went with a different color. So that's where that one is. Okay, and then next new start is called Jingle Bells Xmas Tree Farm by the Victoria Sampler. That's what that'll look like. Can't go in too close or else I won't get all in the frame. And the lovely um, Stitching May or Megan helped me um, convert this to, to regular DMC. Go up close and then kind of go upwards just so maybe it'll show better. I got a very measly little start on this. Uh, it's on 32 count Belfast linen in natural by Zwag Art. And I started it on December 13th of last year. <laughs> so I got very small start. In fact, I think the needle might be in the way. But I started a tree. <laughs> and that's as far as I got. Let's go close. Does that help? Hopefully that helps. That, yeah, that tiny little start right there. Um, okay, 
the next one about out of order um is uh in is is actually part of the hall because i um and actually i again i don't think i'm gonna need well hang on let me see if there's a actual picture of it no Nope, I can't. I can't show a picture. I can't show you a picture of this because I don't have one. No, no, I don't have one. Um, sorry about that. But it's a manta ray, and I named it Raymond. And I just I found it on Etsy. I don't know the actual person I bought it from. And I'm trying. I'm doing this in a variegated thread. So, not very much done. And you cannot see the variegation very well at all. But this is on 32 count Lugana called Land and Sea by um, Silk, or from Silk Weaver. It says it's a swag art. And I decided, I decided, I started it on December 19th. But uh, to give you an idea of what the fabric looks like, and I actually... Snickerdoodles. Snickerdoodles? I don't know which way this is supposed to go. I think it I think it actually goes this way cuz then he's coming over this way and then he's kind of at an angle, but this is what the fabric looks like. Hey. You go right there. Okay, so now I'm back on track. Um, this is not part of the haul. I showed this to you before. Um, it's a Madame Lafay design. Call, um, I'm calling it the Autumn Mouse Sampler because I cannot pronounce this word. Tres, um, I don't know. Tresors de Autumn. I don't know. I'm assuming this word means autumn, but I don't know what that mean word means. But that's what that'll look like. And I am doing that on 22 count um, Ada by, um, by Joanne's. So I, it literally said Joanne on it, so I'm assuming Joanne is doing their own fabric now. Um, Joanne Fabrics, the, the store. Um, and I hand dyed this piece of fabric in, um, I believe it was called Kelly Green. Um, I didn't leave it in there for too long because I didn't want it to be too dark. And, um, I started it on, also on December 19th. And I got a very small little start right there in the corner. So, um, oh, this is not showing up green whatsoever. No, nada, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Going up close ain't doing anything. Folding it a little bit ain't doing anything. And ain't, ain't a word and you ain't supposed to say it, but I'm saying it. <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate, but next time I show it to you, hopefully you'll be able to see the greenery, or the greenery, the green in it. <laughs> okay, so on to the next one. Uh, this is called Santa's Magical Journey by Joan Elliott, and this is what he will look like.
and he is on 28 count an opalescent lugana in um, called blue sky by um stephanie by stephanie and i just and i i keep why do i keep saying i decided i started this on a december 20th again uh of last year You can't see the little blue that I did, can you? Oops, I might want to put it in the middle, huh, Chelsea? Can you see these little... You can see the purple! I cannot see this at all. I can see it in person, I can't see it on here. Is that doing anything? You can kind of see that something's there, but you can't really make it out. But again, I'm going to show you uh, the what the fabric kind of what the fabric looks like because it's gorgeous. Can you see a little bit of sparkle in there? The sparkle. So that's what that one is. And let's see what's the next one. Oh. Um. Oh, my manta ray. I named him Raymond. <laughs> Makes sense, right? <laughs> Okay, so the next one is, um, I do have a, I can show you a picture of that one. Is that, um, 2020 Pandemic Sampler by, um, Christy Stephenson, who graciously gave this out to us for a freebie, um, that's what that's going to look like. And I'm doing this with um, Megan and Emily C. Uh, Stitching May, Megan. I started it before them because no new starts. Um, I So I wanted to kind of name this after them. And so Megan was kind of helping me out. And she's like, well, how about like, MD, so E M M D I is how I'm spelling it, even though it probably should have another M in there. So it kind of stands for like Emily and Megan made me do it kind of a thing. So technically, yes, there probably should be another M in there, but I'm just leaving it as E M M D I. And so I'm naming this MD, and it's on 22 count. It's a hard anger Ada by Zwagger and I hand dyed it in pearl gray and I started this on December 22nd uh, again uh, last year so really hard to see it's it's actually not as dark as it's showing up and because I didn't iron it it looks all wrinkly but that's where I'm at it's really hard to see in fact it's probably impossible to see there's this little bit of green at the very like top corner it's 502 and i will be changing that. i'm gonna take that out and change it to a different color because you can't well you you can see it on the camera a little bit now that i'm up close but from far away, you can hardly see it, and so I'm going to change it maybe to the next darker 5, I don't know if it's 501, I think it's 501, I think it goes up, or it goes down, rather. So 501, I think 500 is darker than 501, and then 501 is darker than 502, etc, etc. But um, yeah, that's where I'm at, not very far. 
but that's okay because they aren't starting it until like March because I think Emily C is going to uh, start it for her birthday, which is in March. So, but I did want to get a little bit of a, um, a start just so it's, um, so it didn't count as a start for 2021, which is this year because I'm doing the no new starts. Um, okay, so the next one. Hmm, I, mean, I do believe I can show you a picture. Does this have to be very... Oh, wait, no, that's okay. I'll just... Okay, so, um... If you recall that, um, anime show that I was talking about just w with the dragon, um, called Fairy Tale. This is their, um, it's called an emblem, fairy tale emblem. So the, each character has their own tattoo of their guild. And that's what it's going to look like. So the moment you think of giving up, think of the reason why you held on so long. I don't know if that's... I've never heard any of the characters actually say that, but I thought it was a really good um, message. And this is actually going to be a gift for a young lady who um, loves anime as much as me and my husband. Ah, it turned off. And I actually, I'm not doing it in pink. I'm actually going to do it. Uh, I'm, well, I can show you, actually. Why don't, why don't I just show you? <laughs> Um, but this, I got this off of Etsy by an Industrious Owls, Owl Endeavors, and this is also on, um, 22 count, the Hard Anger Aid, Hard Anger Ada. I actually got three pieces of fabric out of that. So, the, um, so this one, and then the one I'm going to show you, and then, and then another one I'm going to show you. Uh... So it's just on why I didn't dye this one. I didn't dye this. Um, um, so I started it on uh, December 28th. And I've just been starting at like the little tips. So I'm doing it kind of like a fire. Her favorite character, his name is um, Natsu. And he was actually trained by Igneal, that dragon that I showed you. I mean, the dragon may not look exactly like him, but... Igneal is fierce, and I think that Fire Dragon is fierce. So, I'm doing it in this variegation color. Variegated color. Like, oranges and light yellows. And I'm gonna make it look kind of like fire. So, I'm also, I will also be using that one variegated thread you saw on Goat Load with the, the flower. But that's where I'm at. And again... Hardly see anything. But yeah. That's what that looks like. Hopefully you can see a little bit of irrigation in there. Okay. And then we're, we're getting there. We only have two more. Um, The next one I started. <laughs> same day. Uh, it's called Big Cat, Big Cats. Um, again, uh, I got it from Etsy, um, from, called, um, it's called Big Cats, um, from Addict to, uh, Cross Stitch. Um, and the artist is Jerry Lofaro. Yeah, I probably botched that name. Um. You guys, um, I think this might be a heaven and earth design, actually, but it doesn't say that it is. And you can guarantee that I will be naming each one of these cats. I just haven't figured that out yet. But that's what that'll look like. It is to die for gorgeous, at least to me. What is going on with the lighting? That's what that will look like. 
and okay so this one is on 18 count ada just regular white by zweigart and again i started this also on uh, december 28th of last year and that is where i'm at not a whole lot but definitely enough for a start And then last but not least, um, if I can go back, <laughs> if I can go backwards, is called Ballerina Hippo. I love hippos. Um, I love hippos. I love hippos. I love sea turtles. I love all animals, but hippos in general i love hippos and i absolutely adore sea turtles i also love owls probably three of my like favorite animals other than maybe um hammerhead sharks but that's what she will look like that cutie oh she's so cute and i named her fiona after um one of the uh hippos at one of those zoos um i forgot which zoo she's at you know her name is fiona but i named her after that and i don't have a very good start on this I, just that little bit of pink right there it almost don't look like pink and that's kind of it's coming out blurry but that's okay But that is it other than Celia, where I will be doing a separate video for that one. Um, oh wait, I meant when I mentioned, uh, I got, I found that one uh, again on Etsy um, by um, Light Unicorn Designs. And I started that on December 30th of last year. And again, it's on that 22 count hard anger, um, hard anger Ada white by the, by the Zwag art. So that is it for me again, other than Celia, which I'm going to do a quickie little separate video for that one. But if you had stave, if, let me try that again. If you had, if you have stayed with me this long through this video, um, I greatly appreciate it and thank you so much for watching and um yeah uh, th thank you for subscribing and hopefully more people will subscribe because you keep me going so um again happy new year to you all i hope this year goes a lot better for all of us and um i will see you um well maybe in a little in a little bit Though you won't see my face because I'm going to use my phone for that one. But, um, yeah, see you next time. I'm not sure when that will be. I just, I like, when I do these videos, I like to make sure that there's enough to show you. Because I don't like, I, you know, I, I just don't want you guys to be bored. So, um, happy stitching, everybody. Stay safe. And, um, I'll see you later.